Hello, I'm author illustrator Gemma Denham and today we're going to read Me, Mummy and Mum. What do you think this story could be about? Let's have a look. Well, I think maybe the clue could be in the title here. We've got a little boy and we've got his two mums. Let's read the story. Me, Mummy and Mum. Written and illustrated by Gemma Denham. Hello, my name's Jeremy. This is my mum and my mummy. And this is Peg, she is our cat. She's rather old and rather fat. This is my story, come with me and find out about my family and all the things we like to do. I'm sure you like to do them too. In the garden we spend hours. My mummies like to plant the flowers. But what I like is digging holes, playing ball and scoring goals. I take a run up, shoot and score, then listen to the crowd all roar. And then I run a victory lap while my mummies cheer and clap. I like to help out with the cooking and that's because when no one's looking, I have a little stinky taste. I make sure that it's done in haste so that my mummies do not see and then they can't be cross with me. Sometimes I think they maybe know although they've never told me so. Something we play at the weekend is a game called Let's Pretend. The really great thing you will see is everything that you can be. You can pretend that you are king, dinosaur, pirate, anything. Today I'm flying to the moon to visit Peg, the space baboon. I like adventures in the wood. Mummy's the bad guy and I'm good. I hide with sword behind a tree so that my mummy can't see me. Then when she's near, I make her jump by leaping out and round the trunk. And then we laugh and run away. It is my favourite game to play. On a very windy day, a kite is what you need to play. My mum once brought one home for me, for us to take out after tea. So to the park we took our kite. The wind soon caught and it took flight. It swooped and looped into the sky. It went so super duper high. Peg's favourite thing to do, I think, apart from the cream she likes to drink, is lying and lazing in the sun. Although to me, that's not much fun. I'd never stay so still, no way. Not when there's so much I can play. She likes for you to stroke her too. That's all that our cat likes to do. What I like to do that's fun is going swimming with my mum. I like to jump to make a splash. It's like I make the water crash. My armbands help to make me float. I use my noodle as a boat and sail my ship out to the sea. Make way for Captain Jeremy. On the sofa, all as three, we've pegged the cat upon my knee. We're in the very best of seats. We've got some popcorn and some sweets. So snuggle up and dim the light. We're going to have a movie night. A lounge is now a cinema. The best way to spend a night by far. When the day is nearly done, there is one last thing which is fun. A bubble bath with bubble beer. I laugh because I look so weird. I sail my duck upon my boat and test which of my toys will float. I pour the water splish and splosh while mum and mummy help me wash. Now I am clean and I am dry. <gasps> I'll stretch and rub my eyes. I am tired. Time for bed. It's time to rest my sleepy head. But first a story read by mum. Tonight she's picked my favourite one. It's about a boy who's just like me and his adventures with his family. I love my mum and my mummy. I love them and they love me. And Peg, of course, let's not forget about our very lovely pet. And that's all there is to be said. For now, it's really time for bed. So snuggle down and say good night. I'll see you soon, my friend. Sleep tight. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. See you again next time.